Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will explore how to perform PPE, personal protective equipment, detection using YOLO V7 in a Jupyter Notebook. YOLO V7 is an advanced object detection model known for its accuracy and speed. So, let's dive right in. The first step is to prepare the dataset. Collect training photographs that represent the real-world scenarios you want your model to detect like PPE dataset. If you don't have your own data, you can use the Open Images database as a starting point. Once you have your dataset, you need to annotate it. Use annotation tools like LabelImg or RoboFlow to label the images and create annotation files. Make sure each image has a corresponding annotation file with the same name. If you don't have any idea about how to prepare a dataset and how to annotate it for training YOLOV7, then watch the tutorials, links are given below in the description box. After annotating the dataset, it's time to split it into training, testing, and validation sets. The most common split ratio is 70% for training, 20% for testing, and 10% for validation. Organize the images and their corresponding annotation files into separate folders for each set. If you annotate your data on RoboFlow, you don't need to worry about organizing the images and their corresponding annotation files into separate folders. Now create a directory called Dataset. If you have your dataset in a zip file, extract its contents into the directory using the unzip command. Now, let's clone the YOLOV7 repository from GitHub. This will give us access to the code base for training our PPE detection model. Before proceeding, Let's make sure we have all the necessary dependencies installed. Use the pip install command to install the required modules listed in the requirements.txt file. We need to create a customized configuration file called custom.yaml in the YOLOV7 data folder. This file specifies the paths to the train, test, and validation folders of our dataset, as well as the number of classes and their names. To kickstart our training, we'll download the pre-trained weights for YOLOV7. Here we have different versions of YOLOV7 models with a short descriptive table. Choose a model that fits best to your use case. I am going to download weights for YOLOV7. These weights provide a good starting point for fine-tuning the model for our specific task. Now, let's configure the YOLO V7 model for our PPE detection task. We'll create a copy of the YOLO V7.yaml file, rename it, and modify the NC parameter to match the number of classes in our dataset. It's time to train our PPE detection model. Execute the training command, specifying the necessary flags such as the device to use, dataset.yaml file, image size, model configuration file, pre-trained weights, and other hyperparameters. Adjust the batch size and number of epochs based on your hardware capabilities and training requirements. If your model training gets interrupted for any reason, you can continue training from where you left off. Simply uncomment and run the provided command, which uses the previously trained weights as the starting point. Once the training is complete, it's time to evaluate our model's performance. We'll calculate metrics such as F1 score, precision, recall, and map, mean average precision. These metrics help us assess the accuracy and effectiveness of our PPE detection model. To get a visual understanding of our model's performance, we'll run it on test images. The detect.py script will analyze each image, identify objects, draw bounding boxes around them, and save them in the specific path. We'll display the output images one by one, showcasing the power of our PPE detection model. Now, it's time to execute the testing command on a video file. By running the script, our PPE detection model will analyze the video frame by frame, and generate an output video with the detected objects highlighted. Let's run the detect.py script with the specified parameters. This will start the PPE detection process on the video. Sit back and enjoy as our model works its magic. It will save the output file into the specific path. Once the testing is complete, we have the option to compress the resulting video to reduce its file size. We'll use a popular tool called FFmpeg to compress the video. This step is optional but recommended if you plan to share or store the video. Finally, it's time to unveil the results of our PPE detection on the video. 
we'll display the compressed video right here, so you can witness the accuracy and efficiency of our model in action. Sit back, relax, and enjoy watching the output video generated by our PPE detection model. It's truly amazing to see how technology can assist us in ensuring safety and compliance with personal protective equipment. And that wraps up our video on PPE detection using YOLO V7. We've covered everything from dataset preparation to model evaluation and even tested our model on both images and a video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next exciting video.